welcome and interview. Let's restart. Welcome to the review by DJ SBRC. We have the High Tech X2 AC Plus Black Edition Bluetooth. Does LiPo, does Life, that's a my on, lithium high voltage, NIMH, NICAT, and PB. It's a dual charger, AC DC, balancing, uh, balancing charger, discharging power supply built in. Um, it's 100 watts, has a battery voltage, uh, program data, storage load, uh, maximum safety, like I said, dust discharge, uh, lithium battery balancing your balancing your balancing your yeah, balancing and <laughs> battery resistant meter, PC control, voice guide, and it has the Link Power X. Charger and discharger app. Uh, DC power supply is 100 watts. Basically, what it means is 50 50 on both sides, but you can turn around and put 30 on one side and 70 on the other side if you wanted to. And let's open her up and see what's inside. Like pretty much any charger you have out there, the first thing you do get half the time would be a manual. I strongly suggest you guys take a time and read this manual. Uh, this guy here, so you'll say oh, there's a lot of pages. I think, yeah, there's like 45 pages. Come on. Oh, 51, I do apologize. But I think it's in a couple languages. DC power supply, it's in my own, no, it may not be, but this charger does a lot. Remove one of the first package. This is another thing I do like about this charger, what they do, they give you some free stuff. Banana plugs to XT60. This is when you want to plug it on your uh, battery, a car battery. That's what you'll be using. Your main power cable. Q, a balancing port extensions. And they give you a couple adapters, two XT60s. They give you two Deans and a receiver pack charge lead. Put these guys aside and take this charger out. It is a compact charger. It's not gigantic. Looking at the charger itself, you have a nice black face. You'll have four or five buttons. The first one is to switch between your A and B. Then you have your stop programming, increase, decrease, plus or negative, and your start and then enter. Flip on the side, you'll have vents. To the back, you'll have a AC port. Here, what's fun about this port here on this charger specialty, you have AC in, and you can convert this thing to AC out while it's plugged in. Let's say you're at a racetrack um, and you need power for your pit light. Some people have the Sky RC pit light. Uh, That's another upcoming video. I'll show you the, that kind of light. This will give you uh, up to 13.8 volts output. Basically, you could grab this, this lead here Plug it in and they'll become live to power your uh, pit light or another accessory that doesn't consume a lot of current. This is what's fun. When this light is on, it's meaning it's DC output. Now I flip on the other side, more vents, flip to the front. That's where we have some of the business end of this charger. Your two main outputs, your two main balancing. 
your dual battery temperature and you have your DC USB 5 volt 2.1 amp output and you'll have a micro USB when you want to plug it to your PC now the only thing I always hated when they do this but on this guy they put two why two I don't know maybe that's why let's remove the other one then normally just the black one that's what they put on top this one somebody did decide to put two cool let's plug this by this bad boy in it always helps when the other end is plugged in your power source and it's not my bad not sure if you guys heard that now unfortunately you cannot I don't, I'm pretty sure you can't you cannot dim the display on this I'll try to zoom in and see if I can make this kind of readable unfortunately I can't let me try something here now I do apologize if it does shake I'm just going to make the rest of the charger a little bit darker that way the physical screen you'll be able to see it a little bit better now I'll unplug it again plug it in welcome I am ready make sure you select the correct battery type it's telling you it's ready and make sure to select the correct battery type <clears throat> Now, like I said, the first button here, we can select the A and B. Beside it is the program button or stop. If we select that, now we're basically going in programming mode. When you go through the system, she will talk to you. Let's, let's go to LiPo. We're going to press enter because we want to enter it. And like I said, every time you select something, she will let you know. Now she's telling you the current. Now, if you select, let's say, 3 amps, she doesn't let you know you're at 3 amps. That you have to read by yourself. But now you press OK. Tell you what cell to select. Let's say I want to charge a 4S. Then you would press enter to start the charger. Let's go back. Lithium iron phosphate. <coughs> Lithium ion. Lithium high volt. Nickel metal. Nickel cat lead app battery volt. Battery enter system setting. Now if we go in system setting, press enter. Now this is the DC power supply. <coughs> Sorry about that. DC power supply is off right now. Uh, you can select if you press enter. Now you're selling 10 watts, the DC supply output. It's grabbing power from both of them. Now it will decrease your voltage. <coughs> that doesn't really sound. Give me a second here. Change 
<laughs> that sound uh, Japanese or Asian? <coughs> Sorry. And but this is where you can basically dedicate the output firmware correctly. Safety timer. Safety timer. Basically, after 120 minutes, the physical charge itself will uh, stop charging. Capacity cutoff, I do suggest if you have a 5,000 battery, bring this like to 6,000. The reason is because pretty much every LiPo out there, our capacity is 5,000, she will take more than 5,000. Uh, I saw 5,000 go to up to even 6,000. That's why I always bring the, capa the capacity cutoff higher. <clears throat> Now you have the temperature cut off. Basically, I always leave it off. Uh, now you can change your Celsius to Fahrenheit. Rest time. Uh, resting time between charge and discharge is when you do a cycle on an NIMH battery, it is gonna wait 10 minutes to let the battery cool down. Negative delta V. Uh, NIMH sensitivity, D peak. I uh, normally I would leave it at the stock. This one's four millivolt. That's a negative one right here. Again, I would leave it stock. Uh, the key beep every time you press on the key and the voice if you want it on and off. This is where you're going to change it. Uh, then it's DC input low. If ever for some reason the parts internal bar supply goes down in voltage by itself for some reason. <clears throat> The charger will stop. Right now it's set at 11 volts. Settings. If you want to put it back to factory settings. Now it tells you your version uh, and firmware. And your Bluetooth Mac. And the password. And this is a program. Battery memory, lipo battery, and you go. And now it's going to be the same for both of them. <clears throat> but now if you set up the A for lipo certain stuff, the B you'll need to do the same thing too because they're both independent. Now, like I was saying, it has Bluetooth. You can download the app and put the app on your phone and basically control your charger with your phone. I do recommend it and I don't. Simple reason, you should never, and I say it again, never leave their charger unattended. When you are charging LiPo batteries, always stay around your charger. Something goes wrong, it's easy to grab, first window or first door. A lot of people sometimes hear me say that and they start laughing. It's a serious matter. Please do not do that. The app is good when you are racing somewhere or you're maybe outside, uh, you're playing around with your car, you can still turn your head and take a look at your charger. But you wanna know if your battery is almost charged, flip out your phone, look at the app. Oh yes, it's almost ready. I'll bring my car in. I'll be able to swap my batteries. Bada boom, bada bing. But again, if your charger's in your basement and you're sitting in your living room upstairs and you're checking your app to see if you're better, please do not do that. Please. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'd be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that like button if you did like this video and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, hit that bell notification. It will let you know when I upload a video. Thank you very much for watching.